Hi guys, it's me, it's your girl Lutongwa and I'm starting a new vlog. I just finished dropping the children off at home, I just finished school runs. The time right now is 3.02. On Wednesday, today is Wednesday by the way, on Wednesdays they have half day and they close by 2 o'clock. So um, I'm back in front of the school because the school, the police, behind me. So um, the school sent me an email and then said that we should come and pick up covid test kits for the children so i'm here to pick it up they said we can come today from 3 30 to 4 30 p.m we should come to the gym to get three at the gym so i'm already here because they said they will not have any they won't provide any parking no provision for parking so the earlier you come the better for you so that you can pack in a very um in a very good position because if you come hmm, very soon now everywhere we full all the way down we full all the way across we full cars will park everywhere so thank god i came early so i'm like the second person parked now okay there's somebody else who were like three parked and then there are also people on the other side of the road so we came to pick up these covid test kits and then they said um on monday i think on monday we should test them and then take a picture of the results and send to the school or something like that i'm going to settle down and read that email very well meanwhile some other schools requested that your child cannot start school without COVID tests. The other day, you people watched me now in the vlog where I was, I said I was going to take Zara to go get tested. See, hmm, that day, we went to like three different places. No, everywhere is full. You cannot, you can't even test now in California without an appointment. You have to book an appointment for you to be able to secure a slot to go and do tests. Everywhere is full. You see long line. And even now, it's even hard to book appointments online. So I finally succeeded that day to book an appointment for Zara online. Guess the earliest, that was on Monday, the earliest, the next earliest appointment date that I was able to get for her was on Friday. So imagine, imagine the queue of people that, hey, Jesus, I don't know what's going on. And again, I'm also worried because it looks like this Omicron, it's, um... It's getting it's getting bad here. People, a lot of people are getting it. People are getting sick. So um, other schools said you have to test. You have to bring results before your child will start school. But this my children's school, Sha, they said they are giving us test kits so that we can test them at home and then take pictures and send. By the way, as I'm waiting, let me even chit chat with you. I forgot that I didn't even give you people updates. I didn't give you. Wait, let me come on these glasses. I don't know why it's looking it's looking large on my face this afternoon. Is it because my chair is backwards? So I forgot to give you people updates about. Remember that bully, that girl that was bullying my daughter. I didn't give you updates. Two updates. First of all, after some time, eh. The school changed her. That they switched her class. They took her out of my daughter's class. She wasn't bothering my daughter anymore. She stopped bothering my daughter. That's why I, and I applaud myself for taking that move that I took then. If not, she would have been disturbing her. But they warned her severely to stay away from my daughter because any her hot hot. You people do something. I don't want to. I chop one. Don't try me. Let me let me talk my like my my daughter Zite, my little three years old daughter Zite. One day I caught her telling her two years old brother, don't try me. Don't come to my bed. Or don't try me. So I warned them, and then they warned the girl, and she stopped harassing my daughter. Instead, she she now started being nice to my daughter. One day, my daughter said she was she was coughing outside the classroom, and then the girl and her friends they were asking her, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" <laughs> I said, "Banana." Go and look for her trouble again. So she she kept on being a menace to other students and the teachers, giving teachers tough time, and then they switched her classroom. The school management, they moved her to another class. And then she was in that other class, still looking for trouble. My daughter even told me that there's something that she did. Hey, Jesus. Do you know that she had friends that when, she, when they started school, the first time they resumed school after COVID, she had friends, people that did not know her. Now, they don't used to write that weary for face now. Nah. So she had friends and then those friends, when they realized the kind of person she was, they decided to give her a gap. They, they cut her off and she got mad though. She did not agree that they would cut her off. She was harassing them. She was telling them, threatening them that she's going to, she's going to, to gather some other students to jump them. That's she will gather students to, to beat them or something. And those ones were scared. You see, look at, if you got all the hair, Onye Ekotero. Somebody that did not look for trouble. Trouble will come and find the person. If those children knew, they wouldn't have made her their friend. 
So when they found out, they decided to distance themselves and she refused though. She was now harassing these girls. These girls went and reported her to the teacher and she was giving them attitude on top that she will still do one thing. She will still do one thing. So they, that class that they moved her to, she kept on harassing people, looking for trouble. We now went on Christmas break. Oh. We now resumed school. My daughter resumed school and my daughter told me yesterday that the girl has been kicked out of school. Not only has she been kicked out of school as far expelled from the school, she has been kicked out of the entire district. That's our district in this our area. All the schools in our area, she cannot go there. So for her to go to school now, they have to go and they have to find her parents have to look for school for her in another district. And I think they will give her a permit or so. Like school will give her a, a note, a permit that would make that the other schools in the other district to, to accept her. That's not my problem. I'm just glad that she has carried her wahala and she has left. Can you also let everybody drink water and drop cup? Eh? What's all this? Because let me wear my glasses again. It's like I'm not seeing road again. <laughs> So, I said, let me just be chit-chatting with you people while I am waiting. Ah! The person behind me just drove away. Have they changed their mind? You don't want the COVID test again? Me, I'll just wait here, Sha. By the way, tell me something. I want to ask you a question. I don't know. You, are, you, might, you might know. You might have an inkling by now of what I want to ask you. Do you aware that I have a new channel called Nazo Unscripted? Have you new? You have not new? Okay. Look at the screen. Can you see it's right here? Nazo unscripted. I want to beg you for something. Just kindly and gently mm -hmm, go and search on YouTube Nazo unscripted. When you find that my new baby channel, help me to subscribe. Yeah, that is all I want to ask. I'm not I'm not a greedy person. I don't used to ask for too much. All I just ask is for subscription. You know how YouTube is. It's tough on these streets. It's very difficult to make it on these streets. All I just want is subscription. So that before the end of one year, I will hit 1,000 subscribers. And I'm going to be going live very often on that channel. So that I can hit my 4,000 watch hours quickly. And so that we can have fun during the live sessions as well. But Biko, I'm begging you, please help me to subscribe there. And also this Nazo is it. Don't neglect this one. Though. If you have not subscribed to this one, please subscribe because you know that there are some people that used to say they say things like eh i used to see their comments so on other people's channels like um i'll go to maybe on my bell's channel or i'll go to nelo kk's channel or i'll go to maybe like fibt channel or i'll go to nj channel someone will comment and say eh, i've been following you i've been watching you for many years now but i haven't subscribed so um let me just subscribe now or somebody will say I, I didn't even know that I have not subscribed to your channel since I don't even know why I haven't subscribed all these where, years or all this while. Let me subscribe now. Beacon, why do you have to wait for years before you subscribe? Is there a why? Is there a reason why? Mm? Tell me, oh, we learn every day. Let me know if there's a reason, whether there's a valid reason why people do that. But Beacon, don't do it with me. Don't try it with me. Let me talk like Zite again. Beacon, help me subscribe to my channel. Or oh, don't wait for years before you subscribe to my channel. And hey, then another thing. Hit the, you know, do you know where the, I realize that some people don't know where the description box is. So you know this thing we used to tell people that you will find, I'm, I'm going to link something. Maybe I'm talking about a video. I will now say, I'm going to link it in my description box. You can go there and, and click on the link and then go there. Do you know that some people don't know where the description box is? But there's no problem. I'm going to tell you where it is. You you see the title. Just look down. Mm? This video that you're watching right now. You see where I wrote it. You see the title of this video. Just touch the title. Once you touch the title or click on the title, description box will just open. Just like that. That's the description box. <laughs> because some people, some people are confused. Some people don't even know. They think maybe they will write it somewhere. Description box. No. It's not like that. Once you see that, that title is what you will click. Because near the title, maybe you see one small tiny arrow that's like this, pointing down. Don't even click the arrow. Just tap, tap that title. That's my right top. That is my title where I wrote cheat chat. That place, that title. Just touch it and you see the description box. Then you can be reading the things I used to write there sometimes. Because sometimes I write something inside there. 
sometimes i will put a link that you should click on inside there and that's why sometimes i used to i used to put link in the description box and then i used to put the same link i'll pin it in the comment section just in case but that's the description box then another thing when you subscribe to my channel do you aware that you're supposed to turn on the notification bell just in case maybe you like me so much you love me so much and my personality and and my videos and you don't want to be missing any of my videos it's not only subscribe oh. if you subscribe and go and i post new videos new interesting videos i will drop it hot hot and you will not watch it hot hot because you will not know that i posted a video the only way you will know if i post a video is if you turn on that that um my i must see who turn on the description box <laughs> Turn on the notification bell. That's how you will know. Immediately I will drop video. As it is hot. Eh? YouTube will be notifying you as it is hot. And you will know that. Ah. Utawa has dropped video. Let me rush and go and watch it. You get? So. Now that notification bell. Do you see it? It's just beside the word subscribe. The bell is there. Now when you tap on that notification bell. It will show you three options. It will say all. <laughs> It will say, Ye, somebody is beating their child. No, Bodo. <laughs> hey, it will on the OG. And I think it's, I'm, I'm not in Nigeria, on the buying. So you will see the one that say all. And then the other one that say, is it sometimes? And we shall. There are three options. Click on the first one that said all. Just tap it. That way, every notification, once I drop video, you will get a lot so i have cheat and chat finish because mm? i didn't want to make it too long all right i hope you enjoyed watching this chit chat video look at christmas tree somebody's christmas tree is still well it's all this apartments complex building so in the hallway they have not they, they don't know that christmas have passed so that they can remove their christmas tree you would have watched me have you put have you put down you have your um, what they call it dismantled your christmas tree what are you waiting for is it going to be there to, to Easter? What was something? How about you go Christmas? Here. Yeah. You can't have what? Are you still buying the Christmas? How about you go Christmas? Biko, dismantle your tree. Pack it up. Don't worry. This year we'll do it again. Okay? Anyway, thank you so much for watching my chit chat. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed watching it. All right, guys. Subscribe to my channel. I can subscribe to Nazo Unscripted. I can subscribe to Mommy Sodzo. Okay? All right. Thank you. Stay safe, stay blessed. And we're going to see ourselves in the next video. Bye.